Recalling Applebrug's description of the marginal notes framing the living series as schizoid, I was reminded of psychoanalyst Melanie Klein's use of the term schizoid to describe the infantile experience of the world as split into good and bad, passive and aggressive, mine and not mine, as a way of forging one's own distinct subject position. But for Klein, psychic time is not linear and progressive, unlike historical time. And for this reason, I think her model of psychic time is a helpful way of thinking about these temporal lags and folds that these drawings um, embody. By remaking the earlier drawings from 1969 as digital versions of their earlier hand-drawn selves, and using them to map a spatial environment, separates the drawings from that linear model of representing time as inexorably pushing forward. <coughs> Time in Applebrook's hands is here made spatial, horizontally played out so that viewers are not presented with the works in consecutive order, one after the other, but as a spatial field, which in turn suggests a different model of time, closer perhaps to that model of psychic time, in which, as Juliet Mitchell has put it, present and past are one, and time is spatial, not historical. And Applebrug, as Julia has told us earlier, tellingly refers to the wooden structure as a house. I think it's also a model, akin perhaps to the kind of mental space Mitchell describes in which there's an absence of historical time. These drawings are palpably about the pastness and presentness of these drawings. They're about the contemporary, but then that too remains a category that's wide open and still, I think, historically, theoretically and politically up for grabs. These drawings continue to matter not as historical documents of a second wave feminism. As she herself has said, to be pigeonholed as a woman or feminist artist is too limiting. In 1993, Applebrook made a work that was part of the ongoing Marginalia series in which a female figure is depicted in a bathtub. This work recalls not only Applebrook's own private act of drawing in the bathroom over 20 years earlier, but also the status of the activity itself as constitutive of a past time that is marginal, insignificant, not the private work of the isolated artist alone in her studio, but the grabbed moments or barely there time snatched by a young artist and mother to make the drawings Applebrook had to make time. The chronological lags and layers folded both digitally and temporally into the vagina drawings and the living series describes a relationship to now, to the contemporary as much as they do the past. But what her works continue to say and compel us to think today as writers invested in these issues from a contemporary perspective is that the time of the work of art matters, not as an analogue of the body or the ageing subject, but as the material subject matter of the work itself.